Marco Ramasotto kommt aus Turin und ist eigentlich Bäcker. In seinem jungen Sofare stellt er täglich frische Pasta aus italienischen Biomehlen her und weiß natürlich auch, welche Pasta zu welchem Sugo gehört. Ciao Marco. Ciao, Ciao. willkommen. Ciao. Sofare, eine der italienischsten Pastaproduktionen in Wien. Ja. What are we doing here? Today we are preparing together uh, strozzapreti mm -hmm. uh, with uh, semolina and uh, alla carbonara. Alla carbonara. Ah, okay, das heißt, ihr habt zwei verschiedene Sorten von Mehl. We use two different kind of semola, semola and uh, semola rimacinata. This is milled uh, just one time and so the texture is bigger. And this is rimacinata, that means more milled. Yes, uh, with, with a, um, a smaller texture. Also our secret, that is not a secret, is that uh, usually we put uh, uh, a little bit of salt inside uh, of the dough. The salt gives uh, a better uh, texture to the dough. The problem usually of uh, fresh pasta is that uh, it's not so easy to make al dente, yeah. like yeah. dry pasta. Yeah. You can put all together, then okay. we will mix a little bit. So difficult, but you have done a good job. <laughs> Then we let work the machine for uh, 10 minutes, okay. and then we check the dough, because uh, many fields of uh, weed make many different kind of <laughs> flour. Now it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Wahnsinn, wie sieht das da raus, Würstel? Bitte. Die machen einen Tanz. Florian, do you want to try? No. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So, and what's the name of this form of pasta? Strozza Preti. Strozza Preti. Yeah. And so, what's the difference? of using a bronze or steel form? That's With the bronze, it's not smooth, yeah. and so it absorbs more, better the sauce. Okay. So if we want to make um, carbonara, guanciale is, guanciale is essential. It's the cheek of the pork, and it's very important to cut uh, uh, the guanciale in the right way. What you have to obtain is uh, um, a slice of guanciale, crispy outside and juicy inside. <laughs> okay. okay. It's very easy, seven, eight millimeter. Okay. Perfect. Very good. This is for two portions, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. Of yeah. <laughs> Next step is to roast the guanciale. Okay. We have to roast it very, very gently to not uh, burn the pepper. Put in the guanciale for three or four minutes. Oh, that's the white wine. Yeah. Doesn't look like white wine in this bottle. Yeah. yeah. Add a little bit of pepper to the guanciale. We have two different kinds of, of cheese. Yeah, uh, this is pecorino, chef okay. case, and this is a 16 month age uh, parmesan. If we use just pecorino, it's too salty, yeah. in my opinion. Okay. Two spoon like this. Make three. <laughs> <laughs> Your spoon is smaller than mine, and three of uh, parmesan. <laughs> Florian is perfect. Okay. Now we have uh, everything. We have the roasted guanciale, we have the pecorino and uh, egg cream. We are ready to boil the pasta. Okay. And they will take just one minute because... Uh, because it's fresh. It's fresh, yeah. So now everything is going quite fast. Yeah. And now the magic happens. The eggs is not cooked. Yeah. It's creamy. It's perfect. And now we can serve on our bowl to take away. 
and we finished with a pinch of your pepper, fresh, crispy guanciale on top, <laughs> and some cheese. That's our carbonara. And now we taste. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> crispy, rich, delicious. Thank you. But it's totally different um, than carbonara I served in Austria normally. <laughs> it's the original one. 